So our next speaker is somebody that we're going to see popping up across uh, three of the Congress events. Jose Torres leads Bloom Consulting um, and consults with governments and place brand teams around the world to create and implement place brand and marketing strategies. Um, Bloom has been working hard to understand the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the reputations of nation brands around the world. And we're really grateful to him for putting together this presentation to share the results of that study as they relate to the Asia Pacific region. Um, Jaso is not gonna be joining us live for questions this afternoon, but of course he is on the networking platform. So if you do have questions, please do message him through that networking platform. And I know that he'll be delighted to, to, delighted, uh, to follow up with you. Um, but now we'd like to present Jose's presentation. Hi, Claire. It's great to be again here in, uh, it's great to be uh, back in City Nation Place, this time uh, City Nation Place Asia. And thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, the presentation I'm going to show today is about the COVID-19 and the impact on nation brands. So we as a company, we are a nation brand consultancy. Um, we felt that it was important and it was needed to understand if and how the COVID-19 crisis uh, was impacting uh, nation brands, uh, positively or negatively. We all know, and we know from experience that crisis um, may or may not impact the nation brand. You know, only if you repeat, uh, uh, or if it's a prolonged crisis uh, is normally when it affects uh, nation brands. But nevertheless, there's some that may stick, uh, specific ones, one-offs that can be very important. We still don't know if the COVID-19 is going to impact tremendously or not nation brands, but, but while this is happening, it's impacting. And while it's lasting, there's a moment that this is uh, creating a specific or building a specific perception uh, in global citizens' minds. So we performed this study to understand how, when this study was developed, uh, and of course this needs to be constantly monitored, how is this impacting uh, the perception of countries as a whole? So the study was uh, commissioned by no one. It was actually Bloom Consulting who felt the need to develop this and to give to society, the nation brand society, this information. And the results I'm gonna show you are a deep dive into Asia and to see how different Asian countries were impacted by the way that they managed the COVID-19 crisis. Traditionally, this analysis is done in a zero sum game. So you, you, you draw a line and you have the positives and the negatives uh, uh, personas, let's call it like that, or people with that were impacted positively or and negatively. And normally countries, what they try to do is they see uh, if they are more in the green or if they're more in the red. Uh, it's normally it's one minus the other and so on. Traditionally, I'm just oversimplifying it, but that's normally how it's, uh, how it's analyzed, just to see if you're in the green or in the, in the red. And, and, and you, know, you measure this for specific types of, of events, specific types of touch points. We call them touch points. A crisis is a touch point. Good things are also touch points. So an Olympics, if it's a good thing or not, uh, for the brand uh, is also a touch point. Right? Now, the, the first greater conclusion we got from this, and this was only possible because you see, this is a, a terrible thing that is going over the world, but it was also for the first time, it was, it was possible to put every country in the same in the same environment and to analyze nation brands, right? Uh, normally when you analyze nation brands, you see, oh yes, but that's in, that's in that specific location or that's because something is happening. That's why that does the perception. Here was the first time in history, not even in war times, that you can see literally everyone in the same set, right? So from a, a, an analysis point of view, it's, 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 it's fascinating. So what we saw, uh, the first thing we understood is that, um, and, and the first conclusion we got from this study was that this is not a, a linear line that you have more on the plus or more on, or, or more than on the minus that builds the perception. What we saw was when we look into this graph, that is no longer just you're more on the green or more on the red. And you're more, if you're more on the green, you're more positive. No, we understood that the baseline is different for every country and it's different in different situations, so in different crises or in different types of touch points. So this is to say that not everyone is starting from a zero. You may have starting from minus three or minus four or even plus one. I'll explain this a little while into practice and to examples, 
uh, that you, and, uh, and as, I was, as I was explaining, you have this for the negative aspects like crisis, but you also have this for positive things, which are the classic ones are Olympics. So this is to say, you need to have a lot of negative people to with very bad impressions to affect being affected negatively for the Olympics. And if it's the COVID-19 crisis, it's the other way around. You, have, you need to have a lot of positive people to beat the one or two negatives. That is the concept of what we call the brand map. I'll explain this a little bit more. Now, Let's look into just a simple maths of crisis uh, ratio, a positive ratio versus negative ratio, which is the, 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 um, the horizontal line here, and the vertical line, which is the net positive mentions and, 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 and positive mentions. Now, we analyze, and, and, and the countries that you see here are mentioned. So we asked the audience, um, tell me a country that you think did well, what countries are doing it well, and what countries are not doing it so well. And this is the global analysis. These are all the countries that were mentioned in the, in the study, which was a lot of countries, actually 140 uh, was really a lot of countries that were mentioned. And, and also we excluded the domestic perception towards how countries are doing from them. You know, the, we, don't, we did not ask how a Korean, a South Korean person is actually thinking how the, the Korean government is dealing with the crisis or a Chinese person, how the Chinese um, government is dealing with the crisis. What we analyzed was, how they think other countries are managing the crisis. And we asked how they think uh, to, to name these countries, right? So what you see here is top of mind uh, mentions. And when we look into Asia, you see that there's a lot of countries uh, being mentioned. I also just like to highlight here that of course, the country that had more positive mentions uh, was New Zealand. Uh, so New Zealand uh, got, I would just say, a positive, uh, uh, a very good score uh, in terms of mentions, whenever they see how they are uh, managing the, the COVID-19 crisis, zero negative mentions. But if we go into Asia, the rest of Asia, uh, and look into what our, our countries, uh, how they, they were mentioned and how they were performing, you can see here uh, that, of course, because this started in China, uh, a lot of mentions towards China. And, and, and if you put this into this balance, you look and see if you're China, for instance, or if, if you're Japan, you think, well, I did well, actually. So this is China, positive net positive mentions, and this is the, the ratio, right? And you see China and you say like, well, we did well, right? And that's what we're gonna see. Maybe this is not the line for China. This is not the zero. The zero for China is probably here. So they, because of the given of past perceptions, you probably need to perform much better in order to have your impact, your perceptions impacted positively or negatively. So the reasons why uh, they evaluated countries in, in a certain way in Asia was mainly, of course, you know, for the positive reasons or the reactions towards the countries were, you know, timely lockdown, effective measures, um, and also the negative reasons were also the same, like lack of, of effective measures and so on. Here below is the world average for the positive and negative. So it's very much aligned uh, with the two. Now, the study shows uh, uh, in Asia uh, that, that that line I was talking about, uh, the brand not what it does, it tells you what is the, the minimum a country in general uh, should not be, uh, that, that cannot go under, right? So in the case of Asia, we have this uh, uh, ratio, which is for every person with a negative uh, perception, you need at least two uh, to have a, a, a to get a zero uh, or no, a neutral effect, right? So this is to say that in Asia, you would have you would need to have uh, more people with positive perceptions to beat the negative one, right? This is so that you don't get affected. So this is the mark. This is to say, like, look, you want to uh, to simplify things. Like, you want to see if uh, this has affected the, your brand, your nation brand for now, for now, because this changes over time, of course. But if you want to see where you are, just look at this simple ratio, which is we cannot go under 2.3%, right? So that's uh, 2.3 persons. That's what we want to say, uh, uh, to say here. So um, the analysis, and when we look into uh, Asia and when we look into uh, the world, you can see uh, when we go deeper in this analysis, you can see that there's a different behavior by the types of people that uh, deal with the, and interact with the brand. So someone that, you know, products or tourists, uh, the brand not is completely different. And if it's studying and, 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 and working, 
the brand knot is even more aggressive. So this is to say, from everything that has happened, the conclusion is the crisis is affecting more from the dimensions of the Bloom Consulting Country Brand Wheel is affecting more um, both uh, the talent dimension and in the talent it's study and, and live. Now, if I go into specific countries and see how the brand knot and how countries are performing towards their brand knot, you can see that uh, this is China, South Korea, Japan, and this is the overall, this is India, Taiwan, Singapore. And remember when I mentioned that graph that you had China here? See, the line of China is not this one. The line of China is way more into the right. Um, and how China performed facing its brand knot, it's uh, nearly unaltered. Now, if I go to South Korea, you can see that South Korea did very well, actually. So South Korea had a potential, has a, had a fantastic performance or in, in terms of perceptions and how they dealt with the crisis. Singapore as well, Taiwan as well, India not so much, and Japan is barely, right? So overall, this graph, what it's saying is that from all this, the ones that have more uh, is Singapore, but of course, South Korea, because they were mentioned more uh, than anyone, uh, and of course, Taiwan as well, but they were mentioned less. The, the size of the bubble you see is the, the amount of, of people mentioning uh, this. So the analysis we see here is uh, facing uh, how each country, how the brand not, how the, the crisis impacted uh, uh, them, uh, how the crisis impacted their brand, uh, basically. And it's also giving you what is the minimum each country should look into. So that red line, it changes um, depending on the country. So each country has a zero, let's put it this way, uh, in a different uh, position. Not everyone starts from the same, uh, from the same um, level, right? So you see that Singapore has probably a stronger brand uh, than, than China, because you see that red line, and you see that the way they perform facing their minimum is way better than, for instance, also China, right? At the same time, if you look at the Taiwan, the red line of Taiwan is more on the right. So it's, it's more, I would just say, the, the starting point is more complicated, let's just say, for Taiwan. So Taiwan, from the starting point, is, is in, the brand is less resilient. But in the end, they perform better when you see uh, here because the ball is on, on the right. Now, if I go into tourism, this is different again, and this is the results for, for tourism. Uh, these are the results for buy from. Uh, these are the results for study. So study classically is the study uh, is the one that suffered more, um, and the work as well. So the talent dimension of the Bloom Consulting brand wheel. When you look into all the dimensions, you see that the talent dimension is the one um, that got uh, more affected. So the stakeholders or the target audience from are the ones that are more affected by the COVID-19 crisis. Now, the conclusion of all this, and, uh, although this may sound technical, is in the end, what countries need to look is, is just a couple of, of, of observations and, and analysis, which is the conclusion of all this is not all nation brands are affected by a crisis the same way. So you have countries that uh, when you are more and less resilient uh, for crisis. And what we see is the stronger the nation brand, the more resilient it is facing crisis because you cannot destroy or build a nation brand in, in, uh, with just uh, one event. So there's a very big conclusion. The second conclusion we can take, among of course many others, but the very important conclusion is that countries can start looking at the things that are happening to them using this ratio of the brand knot, which is what is the right ratio? How many positive mentions do I need to do or do I need to have to see my brand uh, positively impacted or what is the minimum line so I see my brand uh, negatively impacted, right? So, so this is a little bit the, the major conclusions and and the, the recommendations for countries in, in places like this that want to deal and manage the brand is it's important to, in, in the times that we live in, and in the COVID-19 times and uh, 19 uh, times, um, and the, the, the area we're living in, it's important that countries pay special attention to their nation brand. Their nation brand, it's something that is important and it's something that helps uh, to the ones that manage the nation brand have a stronger resilience so to, to, to the crisis and to, to specific situations. So it's going to be very important how countries will be uh, managing their brand because uh, that is going to have even a transactional effect uh, on, uh, on their economy. Just a final rank. This is how countries performed. This is the exposure. So in the end, South Korea is the big winner. 
Singapore as well, Japan as well. And these are the ones that got most affected by uh, the, the, the crisis, right? So you see China, as I was explaining before. And this is it. Thank you very much. And you, I will be uh, available for any questions that you may have. Thank you so much, Jose, for that presentation. There's a lot of detail, I know, and I'm sure that you will have questions. So um, if you do, please message him through the online networking platform. So now you have a choice. Um, on this stage, we'll be hosting a discussion looking at recovery strategies for investment promotion with Deepak Bagla from Invest India and Mohammed Azmi Zilkifli from Invest Kuala Lumpur. Please move over to stage two if you'd like to join the discussion looking at recovery strategies for tourism, which is led by my co-chair Anupam Yog with Kamali Fernando of Sri Lanka Tourism and Dananjay Regni of the Nepal Tourism Board. We're going to give everybody just one minute to make sure that you're in the right place and then we'll be continuing on this stage. Yes.